It is the 14th of the 11th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. No tsunami threat from strong quake in Gulf of Alaska. A strong earthquake in the Gulf of Alaska yesterday did not generate a tsunami, officials said. The quake, which struck at 10.42 a.m., had a magnitude of 6.4 and was centered 340 miles southeast of Anchorage at a depth of 34 miles, according to the USGS. Another earthquake, magnitude 6.0, off the coast of Chile. Uh, Brutus breaks snowfall record in Helena, Montana. Helena crushed a snowfall record Thursday and was on the way to doing the same Friday as a winter storm Brutus brutalized the town. Helena saw 8.8 .8 inches of snow Thursday. The previous snowfall record for November 8th was 2.3, set in 1903. So the name storms, here it is, Brutus. Here's a disturbing story. Coffee beans in danger of extinction. That's right, coffee might go extinct. Climate change could kill off prized uh, plants by 2080. A cup of morning coffee could get much harder to find and much more expensive before the century is out thanks to climate change and the possible extinction of the wild coffee beans. <sighs> Another 6-point earth, uh, no, that's the Alaska earthquake, 6.4. Hundreds of dead fish wash up in St. Peter's uh, Billabong, Australia. Uh, Norwood, Payam, and St. Peter's council workers are, are in the Billabong in St. Peter's Park early this afternoon removing the dead fish. Uh, said a lack of oxygen in the water, and we've heard this over and over again. 50,000 dead starfish found on Irish Beach. Extreme weather conditions have killed tens of thousands of starfish and left them strewn across a sheltered beach. Uh, the most likely explanation is that they were feeding on the mussels, but it, is a, but it is a little strange that none of them were attached to mussel when they were washed in. So, uh, big mystery starfish kill. That's crazy. Uh, and of course, researchers study groundwater inundation doubles previous predictions of flooding with future sea level rise. I don't think they're taking into consideration the, the weight displacement. Uh, it's just another one of those studies. Venice, high water floods 70% of the city. Tourists uh, attached plastic bags to their legs or stripped off to take a dip in St. Mark's Square in Venice on Sunday as rising seawater surged through the Lagoon City. High water measuring 1.49 meters or 5 foot above the normal level, level of the Adriatic Sea came with bad weather that swept Italy at the weekend, causing floods in the historic cities including uh, Vincen and as well as the region of Tuscany, 250 miles further to the south. And they're saying this hasn't, this is uh, said to be the sixth highest since 1872. Over to the extinction protocol. Of course, they've got some of the, the stories that I just covered. Ash emissions detected at Alaska's volatile Cleveland volcano. Uh, this volcano continues to be active. And of course, they don't have any uh, monitors right there on this little island off the coast of Alaska. Researchers find undersea gas leaks off Israel's coast. A new ge geophysical study, the first of its kind in Israel, has uncovered a system of active gas springs in the Haifa Bay seabed at relatively shallow depths, only a few dozen meters below the surface. A study published in the journal uh, Continental Shelf Research describes the entire system from its source under the seafloor through the natural gas springs emerging from the seabed. I'm sure they'll utilize that, and of course they've got the war stuff going on. Uh, deadly Indiana blast puzzles officials and residents. Um, they're not really sure how a, a, an explosion this big happened without anybody smelling gas, but they've already ruled out the meth lab and the bomb kind of scenario. And if you've seen pictures or videos of this thing, it's just amazingly huge. Over to the RSOE quick. i uh, got some different things going on. Cold wave in India. Of course, uh, more volcanic um, activity in Mexico, in uh, the Popo, 
volcano off of Mexico City. Uh, they're saying they had some um, light eruptions, that kind of thing, and they can see a glow in the dome right now. A uh, landslide in, in Daly City, California, apparently they had a huge water pipe bust uphill and they made it quite a mess. Uh, over 80 year old infrastructure falling apart. Uh, earthquake in Miramar. Where was that one? We've got another oil leak off of Nigeria. Uh, state of Aqua Iborn. The Mobile Producing Nigeria, NPN, Exxon Mobile, uh, Uyo District. And they're saying they've got a leak out off the coast there. We've got several oil rigs kind of thing. They're saying it's only 50 to 100 barrels, but they're not quite sure yet. So uh, something else to keep an eye on. Finally tonight, I'm just going to take you over to the e, &E News, uh, the nuclear stuff. Another mysterious explosion demolishes home in Indiana. Captain, no fire with blast. And they have a video on that. Uh, a lot of strange things going on in Indiana. I believe this is the fourth building to uh, blow up in the last week or two. Official calls to my office going crazy about tremors in areas far away from the giant sinkhole. Resident, a lot of big quakes everywhere, like big ones. USGS says it's not happening. And of course that big sinkhole, everything's settling in, so we're definitely going to get some more activity. That's not over by any means. Radioactive tea leaves found over a thousand kilometers from Fukushima. 80 becquerels per kilogram detected in western Japan. Government limits 10. And uh, of course they're shipping this stuff out around the world if you're foolish enough to buy it. Sandy appears to have shifted the islands near New Jersey's Oyster Creek nuclear plant. Surge smashed through homes close by. Feds begin special investigation at the facility. And of course, beach erosion happens all the time with hurricanes. They've been shaping our coastline for since time began. <clears throat> so the beach has moved down a little bit. They're saying it's now past the lighthouse. Newspaper uh, FEMA tells residents to stop giving out supplies after Hurricane Sandy. Latest word from FEMA to Island, stop. They want everybody off that island. <sighs> They're putting them in camps. Government worried about high, highly radioactive fish. Why are the radiation readings still hundreds of times over f official safe limits? Question mark. Now this is 20 kilometers off the coast of Fukushima. And these morons are asking why. You know, we have three nuclear reactors in full meltdown, past containment, leaching directly into the Pacific Ocean. They are still fishing, harvesting, planting, uh, buying and selling. You know, the Russians have been sending stuff back for a while now. But uh, again, be very careful about what you buy. The insanity continues. Enjoy waking, everybody.